Brad was not here with Cold Publishing, and I'm chatting with my friend John from EPL Solutions. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Brad. Good to see you again. It's great to see you, and we're we're here with the speed cut. I've seen the speed cut before. Is this the same speed cut I'm I'm familiar with? So one of the things we did here is we have a new frame design. We call it the next frame. Heavier duty, more manageable. So if I'm working in a small bathroom, yeah. I don't have a lot of floor space. I can have everything upright and have my box in a position where I may want to have it, or I can remove my box and I can place it on the floor. Oh, sure. Okay. No, I mean, super slim design. So yeah, bathroom, it will, basement, yeah. wherever we'll, you need to be. Exactly. And the wheels yeah. are narrow enough where we'll go through any doorway. You can oil the cable from the machine. So in this okay. position, you would remove this screw okay. and I would use a syringe. And it's the same thread as you would have on, say, a Warthog nozzle. And as you operate the machine about a thousand RPMs, the oil will draw itself out and you oil the cable. So you basically can do it self -oiling, out the field. Basically. Actually, it is self oiling. Yeah, okay. There are 65 feet of cable on here because it keeps the weight of the machine down to 85 pounds. So this machine will also descale and clean two inch pipe up to six inch. And we did our first opportunity to descale calcium out of a eight inch water main. What if I need a longer length? Well, that's really easy. What we have is an extension cable, and this one would be 35 feet. Okay. And if I want to extend my cable, it's simply a snap and a click. If I want to take it apart, it's easier to use your Allen key, Allen wrench, and you just take it apart. Easy enough. Yep. So I can make this 65 into 100, 115, or even 150. And just like that. Just right. like that. Yeah. Um, what if something breaks down in the field? Talk to me about field repairs. We put a lot of thought into that. We have a really simple motor design where it's four screws. You can take the motor off. Um, we also came up with a spring drive because we didn't want a gear drive. And the spring drive also enables you to have extra power. So the spring drive will actually store up extra energy okay. to give you a bigger punch on a two horse motor. Now, a lot of the guys will use a foot pedal that your foot has to go inside and step on. Sure, I've seen those, um, I've seen yep. those, yeah. But some plumbers have really big feet. They don't fit. Yeah. And the request that we were asked, can you get rid of that foot pedal that we have to put our foot inside? Okay. And I said, yeah, we'll use a clamshell, but the clamshell I can also use in my hand. Is there an easy way to use it another way? Let's say I want to lay it down. That's why we have these big rubber feet on the side All right. with stout legs. And I can set the box on top of the machine. There you go. Or I can set it right next to the pipe. So now the controls are at my fingertip. This is ABS, but further down we have some cast iron pipe with a one by two stick inside the pipe. And what we want to demonstrate is our anti-flip and our clutchless design. So there you can hear it on the wood. And you can see the chain. And as I'm cutting the wood, you can see that the cable is not torquing down. I can hold it with one hand. Although I'm on it really hard. There it is. So when our cable catches, or the chains or the cutter catches, the motor stores energy and as I'm, uh, when I'm still stepping on the pedal, I simply have to just pull the cable off and it's an instant restart, ready to go. John, where can somebody go for more information? Well, visit us at epls-usa.com or call us at 714-453-9760. Thanks, John, always a pleasure. Thank you.